The first food that you should be eating when you're stressed instead of sugar is salt. Studies have found that consuming salt during stressful situations actually helps you do better handle stress, even stress from social anxiety. Now, I personally love to add in a little bit of Celtic sea salt to my water or use an electrolyte replacement like Element. Both are really easy ways to get a boost of salt during those stressful situations, which I'll have those options linked down description below so you guys can check it out. My name's Autumn and I'm a certified clinical nutritionist with my master's nutrition human performance. And the second food that you can eat during stressful situations is eggs or our eggs. Now, when we're stressed, it's really easy to crave sugar, especially because sugar is more of that comfort food item. But if you're looking to achieve a weight loss goal or a wellness goal, eating those dense sources of sugar is not going to help you achieve that. So one way to help get around this stressful sugar eating is by making sure you're getting enough of protein and fat. Both of these trigger the satiety hormones, peptide YY and CCK, help to keep you full and satisfied and therefore help to prevent those sugar cravings. And eggs contain both protein and fat. So using something like hard boiled eggs, deviled eggs, or even those egg bites that have become really popular lately are all really great options. Now the third food to have when you're stressed are those big cheese bites. There's a bunch of different brands that are making them right now. All they are are different types of cheeses that have been baked. And this is a really great swap for when you're craving something salty and crunchy like chips or pretzels, but you want something that will still serve your weight loss or wellness goals. The baked cheese bites have that similar type of texture, but it also has the protein and fat that will help to keep you more satiated than pretzels or chips. You can test out brands like Parm Crisps or Parm Wisps all the words that are hard to say fast. Now the fourth food to eat is a low sugar, high protein smoothie. Now protein is king when it comes to satiety. Now for myself, I know that when I'm stressed, I'm not necessarily craving a lot of food because stress can really affect your stomach and slow down digestion. But in those stressful situations, I know that if I don't eat something, I will be crazy hungry later. So having something during that stressful time is still important. And having a smoothie is essentially like a pre-digested meal that's really easy on the GI tract during these stressful situations. But it is important that you're opting for one that has protein and fat and is low in sugar. Now the fifth food you can eat is warm bone broth. Real bone broth contains a pretty significant source of collagen and collagen alongside other protein sources has been found to really help boost satiety, which can therefore help to prevent those sugar cravings that you experience when you're stressed. If I'm not making my own, I love using Kettle and Fire for the really high quality bone broth. Also link them with a the discount code you guys can use to test out down description below. Now the sixth food to have when you're stressed is keto coffee and using decaf if you're more caffeine sensitive. But if you're feeling particularly stressed and you still want coffee in the morning, adding any type of sugar to your coffee is the worst thing that you could be doing. Drinking sugary drinks like sugar and coffee leads to a big spike and fall in our blood glucose levels. And this low blood sugar state can oftentimes lead to even more feelings of anxiety or even just continued sugar cravings. Now I'm already biased because I drink keto coffee every day and I love it so much, but keto coffee contains zero sugar and it even has pure fat sources to help keep you more satisfied and therefore help to prevent the sugar cravings later on. And you can grab my keto coffee recipe with this video right here. Now seven thing to have when you're strep stressed stressed is ginger lemon tea. Especially if your belly tends to get knotted up when you're feeling stressed, ginger lemon tea is a really great option. Ginger naturally helps to turn on this gut cleaning process in our body called the migrating motor complex. And during stressful states, this process tends to get turned off, which may be why you experience any type of bloating or GI upset when you're feeling stressed. So a zero sugar ginger lemon tea can help to counteract that. Now the eighth food to have when you're feeling stressed is berries and cream. And this is a really great option if you find that you just need something sweet but you still want to work toward your weight loss or wellness goals. Homemade berries and cream contains really minimal sugar. It's only going to be about seven grams that's going to come from the berries itself. And I have a really easy recipe you can whip up literally whip up in five minutes with this video right here. Now the ninth thing to have when you're feeling stressed is a magnesium supplement. It's not a food, but it can be helpful when you're feeling stressed because stress can lead to poor quality sleep and poor sleep can lead to even higher cortisol, which is our stress hormone levels the next day. And magnesium supplements can tend to help with the sleep quality, which therefore can then help break that stress cycle. Now the 10th thing to have when you're feeling stressed is whey protein. Whey protein contains something called alpha lactoalbumin which is a mouthful. And this is naturally rich in the amino acid called tryptophan. And this amino acid has been found to help enhance cognitive performance when placed under stress and even help to improve the quality of sleep. In fact, if you have a whey protein powder, you can try it out in one of my smoothie recipes with this video right here. Also, if you're new to my channel and you love this science-backed information, make sure you subscribe right here. Come out with new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. All right guys, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video.